how many times have you been to a presentation and there's been blah, 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 and then there's whack, there's a great story that comes up. You know, where you say, oh, one of our clients did this and saved $15 million in three months. It's like, whoa, oh, hey, what? And you write that down, right? We're, we're genetically predisposed to listen to stories. Imagine that razorfish guy. Imagine if he just said something like, what does razorfish do? Well, instead of that radically recontextualized junk, he said, you know, we just saved Charles Schwab $15 million. Let me tell you how we do that. Because we know how to do this stuff better than anyone. Right? That's, it's a different story entirely than what we saw up there. It's the same basic principle of communication. The key thing that people don't do when they're telling stories and when they're practicing is they don't do it out loud. How many times have you heard people get ready for a presentation and all they do is tap on the PowerPoint, tap on the PowerPoint, and they resist? If you stand up, go into a conference room at your office, in your bathroom mirror, when you're sitting in traffic on I-5, walk in the dog, and you actually talk the presentation out and get used to it, it will make you better. And I would argue you should develop the words and then practice them and then and only then get to the PowerPoint.